We're gonna be working on a really fun mixed media project today. And we're gonna talk a little bit about perfection versus imperfection. Is that splitting hairs? Stick around to the end of the video. There's a few funnies. And while you're here, don't forget to subscribe and click that like button. We'd love to have you come back and see us here at LJ Goods. What I want to share with you today, I have, a, I have a lot of things to share with you today. I've prepared this ahead of time. I, I cut a piece out. I will put this aside and use this for something else wonderful. I decoupaged this on a masonite board that JR cut to fit this frame, which I had chalk painted, and I'm going to use this as the base for my decoupage piece. Grab these frames. You go to the thrift store anywhere. Yeah, paint them up or leave them as is. I'm also using Monaghan paper. We're not going to use this like this. I'm going to cut this rabbit out, by the way. And I'm not going to worry about all of his little hairs. See all these hairs? Get it? Hair. <laughs> cut this guy's whiskers off, all right? We can paint whiskers back in if we wanted to. I also saved this little part distress the edges and then we'll do a little bit of um, ink on that. I'm just going to begin to lay out, we're going to create a little garden all around this guy here. Let's grab um, a few pieces from Iron Orchid Transfer Franz Botanical. I'm telling you, when you are just in the mood and want to do something like creative like, this is such an easy thing to just have fun with. Get out all of your bits and pieces and start to layer them. Magical things can happen right in front of your eyes. So I've just cut out several of the fronds pieces here. This is um, Lexi's beautiful Whispering Willow for IOD. Grab a few mushrooms from here. You know, I'm kind of funny. I love mixed media, but I, I want to make sure that that mixed media all um, kind of works together, has the same aesthetic. Bronze is so realistic that um, I feel like I'm gonna just have to be really careful with how I use these mushrooms. Let's get a little bit of an idea of how we want this to look and we'll see if those mushrooms will work or if they won't. Um, but I'm just feeling like I love, I love these. If you layer, it just looks so much more realistic. I think I could handle these mushrooms if they're kind of tucked behind some other pieces. So they're more shadowy in the background. I like three of them. And if I just kind of keep them all in a cluster in one area, then I can layer some ferns over it. I would be that one in the ICU. They'd be like, oh, is that gauze? Don't throw away my cold coffee. Give me that gauze and let me stain it. <laughs> So we'll we'll put we'll put this one down, then we'll decoupage this on, and then we'll go ahead and add our other layers. I actually used my Funkature Rock Hard top coat to decoupage this piece. It's a tricky thing when you're working with all of these different kinds of elements that are not really realistic to get a realistic vibe. So we want him positioned the right way. Use a little bit of a smaller brush to coat this, the back. Isn't he pretty? I'm just gonna do this. and smooth him right down just like butter very cute very cute very gently lay these on here and see what we come up with and we have 
these guys. Pop that over here. So let's get that one down first. Probably gonna do that there, I would say. I like that. So we'll see. We'll see, we'll see. We gotta we gotta kind of begin to make some hard and fast decisions here. Let's put this one down first. how much dimension that's giving this already. I sometimes have to just figure it out as I go, but I think that there's a value to seeing um, a project completed that way also. Oh my gosh, look how cute. I kind of like this. I am liking this look mm -hmm. right here. Maybe you're like right there. So it hides a little bit of that mushroom. You could turn this into, oh my gosh. If I had a Sharpie right now, like I would put some little eyes on him and I'd make him be a little caterpillar. <laughs> a lady came in yesterday who has discovered Ellen J. Good talking about how much of a value it has been. Just listening over and over again to how we talk about like it doesn't have to be perfect. And we were chatting about it and, and she got a little emotional and I get that. Like sometimes it's really hard to let yourself go and have it not be like this, right? Cause she was talking about like how to, like for her to tear a page and have it be like imperfect mm -hmm. instead of just <clears throat> perfectly cut was such a struggle for her. And I'm like, let me throw this at you. Don't think that because I always say like, doesn't have to be perfect, blah, 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 blah. Um, you wanna know what's really hard? When you gotta be perfectly imperfect. Yeah. Mm. So when I tear that sheet, it has to look a certain way, mm -hmm. you know? That's kinda tough. Do you know what I mean, you guys? Those of you that, that struggle with that? So like, I get it. I totally get it. And you've all seen me. Like, I will obsess about like, oh my gosh, like that does not look right. That does not look right. And sure enough, I will stay for two hours and fix Fixing something it. to make it so that it doesn't look perfect because I needed it to look like it doesn't look perfect, but yet I, it already wasn't perfect. I think that said, we just all have those places that we just need to work that stuff out. And, you know, we've said it many times here before. We um, are our own worst critics. And, um, gosh, it's, like, so frustrating to think, like, how when we were children, we would just throw something on a page with reckless abandon, right? And... And we we're so proud of it. And mm -hmm. then it's, it's about third grade when when really kids start to like look over and compare oh. themselves. And, and I've heard these stories too of art teachers that were critical of what a child had put down. And it's like, oh my gosh. Like if in art class you can't have the freedom to express, where else can you? Oh, isn't he pretty? Maybe there. Okay, look at that. Isn't that so pretty? I love it. But before, after. And honestly, if you wanted to, you could take a patch this whole thing down and you could just add the layers over top of this even. And you know, this is where I can get like, oh, do I add? You gotta know when to stop, right? And I think that this is good. Now, if I wanted to, I could actually put this back in and I'm just gonna ink the edges of this with a little turmeric. 
Oh wow, look at that. I think I'll put it up here in this space. And whatever this means, I don't know, but I like it and I like adding even another layer. Word to the wise, make sure that you have dried your decoupage completely. That's why I'm running into a little sticky issue over his, his feet here. Nice. Isn't it neat? Look at the layers over the ferns over the decoupage paper, layers over layers. All of the products I've used today for this project you'll find in the description box down below. There's links there, back to our website, where you'll find everything that you need. So there it is. Isn't that so pretty? I love him. He's really, really, really cool. And there we go. Pop him in a frame and I don't know, looks like spring to me, right? Take care. L&J Goods is located in Medina, New York. That's halfway between Buffalo and Rochester and just south of the Canadian border. You can also find us on Facebook, Instagram, and at lnjgoods.com. I know this thing about whiskers, the 10 step rule, okay? Like if you look at me from 10 inches away, you might see the whiskers that pop out of my chin every now and then. If you stand 10 feet away from me, you are not gonna see them. So what do you think of that? No, Debbie, I've waxed, I've plucked, I've lasered, and they still come back. Now I just borrow my husband's no. razor. <laughs> Leslie said we all need that special friend who will secretly pluck for us if we're ever in the ICU. Don't let me sit in a hospital in a coma without putting makeup on me or plucking my long hair. <laughs> Let's make a pact right here, you guys, okay? If any of us, you guys included, are ever laid up in a hospital bed, and you can't reach <laughs> your makeup bag or your razor <laughs> or your tweezers. That's right. <laughs> you got, somebody needs somebody to send out an SOS. Send out an SOS in that text group, please. <laughs>